In this video, I'm building a one-of-a-kind 3D printed guitar kit. You simply 3D print the body and the kit includes everything else you need to build a fully functional electric guitar. This includes the neck, pickups, electronics, strings, dowels, and superglue, and all associated hardware. I walk you through the entire build process step by step from start to finish so you can build one too. So if you're looking for a project to combine your hobby of music and 3D printing, then this is the kit for you. Check out the link in the description below for more information, and without further ado, let's get started. The kit includes a download of all the files you need to print the body of the guitar, the neck pickup cover, output jack cover, and three-way switch knob. It also includes all files in STL format, as well as 3MF format, which has the print settings automatically preloaded so you can simply load the file into your slicer and hit print. The guitar body is split into a center core and multiple outer parts that get assembled together using the included dowel pins and superglue. Please note that the recommended print bed size is 256 by 256 millimeters or greater. It's recommended to print the center core of the guitar in a high info percentage to ensure that it won't flex due to the tension of the guitar strings. At a minimum, you should use 40%, and it's also suggested to increase the number of wall perimeters to at least six. As a reminder, if you use the included 3MF files, you don't need to worry about any of this and the settings are already preset. Since the outer pieces don't see any significant load, they're printed with less infill and less perimeters. For this guitar, I thought it'd be neat to expose the infill as a cool effect, so I removed the top and bottom layers so you can see the gyroid pattern. All components can be printed in PLA, but you can also use ABS or other materials if you're looking for even more strength and rigidity. Depending on the design and settings you choose, you can expect to use somewhere between 1.5 and, and 2 rolls of filament and have a total print time between 35 and 40 hours. The guitar body is designed to go together using wooden dowel pins to align the parts during assembly and super glue to bond the plastic. After pressing the dowels into the holes, apply some super glue to the mating surfaces and press the parts together. I recommend using wood clamps to tightly squeeze the sections together for 24 hours to let the adhesive fully set. This particular design does not use epoxy, but note that many of the other design options include a recess to pour an optional resin top. I'll provide a link in the description to some of my other videos for examples that include resin. Next, it's time to assemble the rest of the non-3D printed components. I've found that sourcing high quality guitar components can be challenging, especially an affordable neck that's straight and well built. Luckily, you won't need to worry about individually sourcing quality parts as this kit includes all genuine Fender Squire components. This includes the neck, pickups, electronics, strap posts, and all hardware. As an added benefit, the pickups include quick connectors to eliminate the need for soldering and make wiring quick and easy. First, mount the neck pickup to the 3D printed cover by installing the screws and springs and then tightening the screws to position the pickup. Now we're ready to feed the neck pickup wires into the electronics compartment and then fasten it to the body using four screws. The electronics panel includes a metal output jack that we can remove so we can replace it with our 3D printed plate by fastening it with the hex nut that was just removed and then mounting the output jack assembly to the body using four screws. The electronics panel also has a black ground wire that feeds into the bridge pickup compartment. I recommend adding a piece of tape to temporarily hold it in place and then feed the bridge pickup wires into the electronics compartment and mount it to the body. Use the longer screws for the bottom three holes and then the shorter screws for the top two. Bolting down the bridge should pinch the ground wire. Now you can simply connect the neck and bridge pickups to their respective connectors using the color coded wires as a guide and then mount the electronics panel to the body using two screws. You can then remove the included three-way switch knob and replace it with your 3D printed version. At this point, your guitar should look something like this. Next, flip the body over and locate the two slots for the strap post. To mount the post, simply insert the square nuts into the slots and screw the post into the nut to fasten them to the body. 
Lastly, it's time to mount the neck to the body using the included neck plate and the four large neck bolts that screw directly into the neck. And now there's nothing left to do but string up the guitar using the included Ernie Ball regular slinky strings and then tune it up. And just like that, your 3D printed guitar is officially complete and ready to be played. Overall, I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. For those of you wondering, the final weight of this guitar is a little over 6 pounds, although many of my other design options with top and bottom layers and resin weigh closer to 7 pounds. To me, the guitar weight is well distributed and feels well balanced in my hands. Now it's finally time to plug this thing in and see how it plays. I'm certainly not the best person to demonstrate the guitar's sound quality, but here's a quick demo anyways. As always, if you enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave those in the comment section below. This guitar kit, as well as all my other designs, are available on my website, the3dprintzone.com. I would encourage anyone who's looking for a fun project to consider building one yourself and adding your own flair to it. I'm already working on several other 3D printed guitars, so stay tuned for more videos and upcoming designs. Also, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for future designs. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.